Welcome to the jewel at Changi Airport. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us in today's video. We're going to be taking you around the Jewel and showing you some things that you may not have seen before. There's a lot of activities that you can pay to do or you can just walk around for free. Check out all the uh, different like plants and everything. But then also in the terminals, there's also like butterfly garden and other types of activities. I heard there's a pool and lots of other exciting things. So stick around as we explore Changi Airport together. We've arrived at Changi Airport. Go to explore the jewel. First, we gotta drop off our bags so we can have fun. Made Evan do all the adulting stuff. I am, yeah, we've got six boarding passes. Whoa, six boarding passes. Because we're taking three flights. Oh. Uh, it's gonna take 48 hours, I think, to get home. It's all right. We got lounges. True. So we're just sitting in front of the waterfall and the jewel, trying to decide what we're gonna do. There's like endless amounts of activities. Um, some are free, it looks like. Some you have to pay for, and some of them are bundled together. So we're trying to decide what we wanna do. Yeah, I think there might be a ticket booth around here somewhere. That or we can figure out on the app, I guess. Yeah, what's the app called? Changi Airport name of the airport in Singapore. Hot tip, download that app. So we found a concierge desk um, to help us kind of like decide what we wanted to do while we're here. And conveniently right next door is the only lounge we've ever seen that's before security. So we stopped to have something to eat and then yeah, we found a little bundle deal on all the activities, so it's got the five things that we want to do at a cheaper price. Yeah, so. and when we were checking our bags, this really nice lady gave us like a whole book of coupons, and in here is like a 20% off code as well, and lots of free and like discounts on different things around the airport. Hot tip. Two dollar beer. We got our passes, 39 Singaporean dollars. And now we're going to level five to the Canopy Park to start the adventure. Yeah. We're gonna start our adventure here in the Canopy Park. Looks like everything's Marvel's Avenger theme here right now. Evan's a big time Marvel movies fan. I am, so is my mom actually. We're both big time Marvel fans. I thought Topiary meant flowers. It might be different flowers. It's nice and cool over here, though. Oh, the, all the animals are made of flowers. Are... That's what the topi area walk is. Oh. And if you know, look up here, that's the merlion. What is the merlion for people who don't know? One of the symbols of Singapore. The merlion is one of the symbols of Singapore. Uh, it's a, a landmark here and it's literally a lion and a mermaid statue. Well, maybe we could pop something up on the screen so you can see it. We did not visit it. it wasn't really kind of our thing, but it's like the unofficial symbol of Singapore. <laughs> Love how Singapore is always putting out the signs for you. Like, do not step into pond. Do not fall off bridge. Always looking out for you here in Singapore. Who is that? Cool. 
luckily I'm just a little bit over the height limit. That thing's supposed to shoot out fog or mist or something at some point, but it's not really working. Oh, it comes, yeah, it comes in there. Ah, oh. oh, okay. It comes out eventually, I guess. But also, these activities are mostly for children, but we're just a couple of big kids, so we're having a lot of fun. Well, the foggy ball's a little wet down this time. Maybe on the way back, it'll be fogging up. All right, next up is the walking net, one that Evan's a big fan of watch our videos before you might know that I'm like terrified of heights even going up escalators like makes my heart race should I try this one yeah it's just above everything oh. if you fall from one net you fall to the next so got that going oh the receipt oh this is the receipt I see <laughs> all right do not lean into the net I think there's a pterodactyl up there Good. There you go. Whoa. It's a little harder than that looks. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Made it up to the first part. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Oh, I look down. Kinda had to look what? down to no. not trip. No, I'm good, I'll trip. Staff, that helps you. Ooh. Pretty crazy walking on this thing. <laughs> Woo. Evan beat me. I'm coming for you. Oh my god, I'm literally sweating all over. That was no joke, one of the scariest things I've ever done. If you're afraid of heights, like, do not. Face do your fears and do it. Oh. Evan did it, you can do it. The guy, even like the guy who works here, came over because I was like grabbing onto the side of the net. He's like, there's like a big red sign that says, don't do that. Evan's gonna get us kicked out of the jewel. <laughs> At least we got the main things done. Oh my god. <laughs> You want some pictures before you leave? No, it's you sure? Yeah. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. You just asked Evan if she's sure that she didn't want to leave, but she can't come back in. I was like, I never want to come back here. Right. And they offered to take pictures, and I was like, no, get me out of here. <laughs> that is scary. It's a bunch of nets like together, but it's uneven. I don't know. It was really hard to balance, so you keep feeling like you're gonna fall through. It was very strange. Looks like they got plenty of restaurants and specialty drink areas up on the top here. So if you want to drop some money, you got whatever you want. Never been in a mirror maze. So if you guys have, put it in the comments below. I want to hear about your experience. Ah, thank you. How do we get out of here? Wait, is it an actual maze? Are we in a maze? Yeah, it's a maze. Where'd you go? <laughs> that's a dead end. I made it. Wait. I don't know, that could be a mirror. I mean, that's, is that that entrance? No, it's an exit. We did it. Hi, Noodle. <laughs> hey. Oh. Sorry. Is it the exit? Oh, it's not the exit. There's a secret maze in oh. here. Whoa. Oh. Look at what I was saying. Wow, man. 
This is so cool. You guys have to come to the jewel at Changi Airport. See you on the other side. I lost Evan in the maze. Boy, we can find her again. She got all the money. Where'd you go, Evan? Found her, but she's not very helpful in finding the exit. So we made it to the center part of the largest hedge maze in Singapore. Oh, wow. Might be the only one, but <laughs> it's probably red earlier, so now we got to find our way out. This place is confusing. It's like the shining. What happened? Well, I think technically we did pretty good because we found the viewpoint, which is right next to the exit. We just didn't know the exit was right there. Our last activity on the paid part of the jewel is a sky bridge block. Go right by the wow. waterfall, the vortex. So it's called? Yeah. our Japan series um, you know that we visited a store a few times called Don Quixote and or here they call it Don Don Donkey they have one here in the jewel I'm so excited I hope the prices are as good as they were in Japan I'm gonna do some shopping I think now on that promo paper they actually have two dollar beers so you can check that out too alright can confirm prices are much higher <laughs> Don, Don, Don Ki, or Don Quixote in Japan. Got our $2 beers. Cheers. Um, these are our $2 beer coupon for these, but they're actual, the prices here uh, without the coupon are really, really reasonable. So if you're looking for somewhere to grab a drink in the airport, this is where you want to do it. Yeah, you got happy hour until seven, I think, mm -hmm. every day, so. We got tons of Japanese spirits. All the Japanese whiskeys that you can't get back in the States, they've got here. Lots of good things. Hey, yeah. uh, Joel B1. Down to the basement. Get your drink on. Ends our time at the Joel section of Changi Airport. We're gonna go get through security and then see what else we can find after we get through. We're green. Cleared customs. We have moved on to lounge number two to grab a little pre-flight drink and relax. We've actually been in this lounge uh, last year and had quite a fun time. As they do have an open bar, the selection is limited, but it's fun. make yourself your own drink. And we're about to get on an eight-hour flight, and then we have a 14-hour flight to our next destination. I don't think we're going to make it to the Butterfly Gardens this day. To be honest. It's seven o'clock and our flight leaves in an hour and a half and I just don't think that my anxiety levels are too high to run, take a tram to another terminal, have enough time to like actually experience it and enjoy it and then rush back and I just really want to have a mellow, pre-flight, relaxing time. Anybody with anxiety knows exactly what I'm talking about, like if you're rushed and things are chaotic right before you have to get on a flight and you have anxiety about flying, go get it. Open. 
Yeah. We've never flown Qantas before, nor have we flown on the top level of an airplane, or even been in an airplane that had two levels. Except in our Toulouse video. Check out our Toulouse video. <laughs> it's breaking the internet at 100 views in the last year. <laughs> explore a little bit of Changi Airport and the Jewel, but there's so much more to explore. <laughs> yeah, I could literally spend days and not see everything. Uh, we ran out of time, like you said, uh, so next time we come through, we'll show you more. Thank you guys for coming with us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's totally free to you. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers. Make sure you don't bring your picnic furniture with you, okay? Aww, Not proper etiquette here in the jewel. Good thing I left it all at home.